it might be that time of year where you need to start upgrading some of your computer peripherals, keyboards, mice, or even a brand new headset and microphone. So thanks to Turtle Beach, let's go check out some of their brand new hardware for your PC. We're gonna start with this mouse here. This is called the Turtle Beach Burst 2 Air. I've played around with a few Turtle Beach mice in the past, and honestly, I actually still use a HyperX Scorn mouse. I think that's what it's called. Nevertheless, it's it's a wired mouse, and I've had it for what feels like 10 years now, and it's great. It's, it's pretty good, but I have been wanting an upgrade because it is kind of heavy, and the Burst Air 2 claims to be only 47 grams in weight. So very, very lightweight. Let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Okay, so great presentation here. Oh my God, this is, <laughs> this is nothing. Is this what 40 grams feels, 47 grams feels like? That's, yeah, this is, this is absolutely nothing. There's like no electronics in here. Wow. <laughs> this, let me put it to you this way. This feels almost as light, if not lighter than my key fob for my car. And if I'm being honest, I always thought if something like an electronic is way too light, it always equals less quality. That's clearly not the case. We're seeing a lot of mice being extremely lightweight. Logitech has their own variant. I'm sure the other brands like Corsair do as well too. But this is the newest one from Turtle Beach. And what's really cool too is they are very aware that everybody's desk surfaces are going to be slightly different. So you can go fully naked with these little pads that they have here. You uh, can remove these stickers here and that just makes it glide a little bit better. Or depending on your surface, once again, you have these other alternate options for you to choose from as well too. So it's really just customization in that regard, what's going to make the mouse glide the best and react the best, especially in those quick FPS games. Now, before we get this connected to the PC, I do wanna explore the buttons on here. You got your left, right click, scroll wheel, feels really, really good in the hand. A little bit of grippage, it's not just plastic. It feels slightly rubberish. So your index or middle finger, whichever finger you're gonna utilize, it's gonna stick on there fairly nicely. And then you got a back forward buttons on here. You have the ability to customize some of the buttons as well too. And the most important button on this mouse, especially for you gamers out there, is this one. This is the DPI button. This allows you to switch your DPI on the fly all the way up to 26,000 DPI. So extremely impressive on that. And in regards to colorization, this comes in white as well as black. So you have a choice of color there, but let's see how it performs on this laptop PC here. So currently just playing around with it. Honestly, the mouse doesn't feel any different from the mouse that I have, but I haven't yet removed these different skate protectors. So let's go ahead and remove them and see if these make any difference as we try to slide this across this. I mean, this is a little bit, this is not the best performing surface area, right? This, this is not what you would use for a mouse, but the fact that we do have these skates here that we could take advantage of, maybe that will make a big difference. So let's give it a shot. Oh, this is much smoother. Oh, wow, this is, yeah, this is much smoother. This is very good. Now this feels much, much better. And right now I'm just kind of doing a, an aim assist program on my computer. So I, I don't think you can see it right now. Just take my word for it. But it feels really, really smooth. It glides very, very well. And this is not the greatest of surface. So if I take this back to my actual mouse pad, this is gonna feel so much better than what I'm already experiencing. Maybe a little bit too good. I'm gonna have to tone it down, change the DPI a little bit, I think. But what I like about this as well too, is that in addition to it being so lightweight, the switches for the actual buttons here, the left and right click buttons, these are Titan optical switches, which means essentially that the longevity of this mouse is going to last much longer than ever before. I mean, you've had experiences in the past, especially you gamers out there, because the mouse buttons are effectively moving parts, you have to switch out your mouse. Like you have to buy a whole new mouse a lot sooner than you would like. So with this, you can actually click this over a hundred million times and it's gonna last you years upon years. So very, very impressive with that. But this is not the only addition to this whole setup. The mouse is great. I love the mouse, but 
let's go ahead and talk about the next thing. This is the new Turtle Beach Atlas Air, which features a wireless open back for PC gaming headset. According to the box here, world's first floating ear cup design and also supports Bluetooth and its 2.4 wireless connection. Oh, wow. Okay. Very nice presentation here. Of course, here is the microphone. You got a little windsock for the mic as well too. The USB adapter, which we will definitely be using for this test here. Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, wow. These are very lightweight. I mean, they weren't kidding when they said air. Okay, so the microphone, I assume, just plugs in directly just here. All right, perfect, very, very nice. You do have a USB Type-C connection here, so you can charge the battery. Again, it's up to 50 hours in battery life. Got volume control right on the, what I can assume is the left-hand side. No control on the right side, no dial on the right side, but then you have some more buttons here, which I can only assume um, pertains to the mute functionality. Uh, the wired headset, so you can make this a wired connection directly to your Xbox controller. And then, of course, the switch between utilizing the 2.4 wireless connection or its built-in Bluetooth connection. The headband itself has this very nice mesh padding here. So, oh my gosh, this is so comfy. Are you kidding me? This is not hyperbolic. This is very, very comfy. I, I never really thought a mesh top like this would add any kind of benefit or anything, maybe some additional structural integrity, but it feels really good. Like, I know I don't have any hair to worry about, like hat hair or anything like that, but just on my noggin, I feel like I could just leave this on here for hours. And because it's wireless, I could just walk around the house and everything. And as you can see here, the microphone just plugs in here, or if you don't want to be heard whatsoever, you flip it up, yeah, there you go. And although I don't have my glasses on right now, they do claim that these are glasses friendly. So if you've ever had to wear glasses while you're playing games, or if you wear glasses all the time, don't worry, these will not cause a headache by pushing your glass arms into your noggin. And I will say, with regards to the world's first floating drivers and everything, yes, you can't really see it, right? It's just something that we would have to know. So the best way to see how it sounds is to plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. Just listening to the gameplay from Destiny, listening to the voice chat, and also I can still hear myself talking, which is very important as well too. These sound really good. It's not too tinny. There's not too much bass as well too. I feel it's fairly well balanced. And then of course, utilizing the proper Swarm application that you can download for free on here, you have a little bit more customization in the equalizer menu for the headset. Very good headset, feels very comfortable, sounds very good, very well balanced. And like I said, you do have some customization capability in the desktop app and paired together with that brand new mouse, you're gonna be gliding and shooting along very nice and easy in your favorite game. But the PS de Resistance is going to be this Vulcan 2 TKL Pro from Turtle Beach. So this is their brand new 60 percenter. Um, I'm not a huge fan of 60 percenters, uh, only because I love to have that actual 10 key, but that's what TKL stands for, is 10 keyless. Before we open this up, we got the Hall Effect linear switches and also rapid trigger response. And ooh, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this one because this is gonna match the mouse. This is gonna have a similar colorization to the mouse if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, I am mistaken. It's not white. I mean, the keycaps are white, but the actual, the actual keyboard itself is kind of like this shimmery, glittery, shimmery design. You also have the wrist pads and of course the USB type C cable. I actually feel like this is a little bit bigger than a 60 percenter, but it definitely doesn't have the number keypad off to the side. Right out of the gate, you've got your AMO RGB. AMO is their system that allows you to coordinate and connect all of your RGB Turtle Beach systems together so all the colors match up accordingly. And you have this wrist strap, like I mentioned. It's a little flimsy, 
and very foamy. I do think that this is gonna be a dust magnet as well as a stain magnet. I don't think that this would be like machine washable, but you could probably wash it with a nice damp cloth. I wish it would connect directly in. Turtle Beach does have another Vulcan 2 Max keyboard that does allow you to directly connect the wrist pad into the uh, into the bottom part of the keyboard so it never comes off unless you peel it off this one i think it would be easy for it to to run away but i don't know i am so used to like a loud click but these don't have that there's there's not a loud click whatsoever which is nice right if you live in a dorm or if you live in a in a household where having a really loud click all the time can be quite disruptive to everybody else in the family this is a nice happy medium there's not a loud click but you still have that kind of accentuated feedback that you as the gamer are quite used to no i really do like this this is very very impressive yeah i love the presentation on this one it's a very sleek aluminium design you have these little feet on the back side here to lift it up just a little bit if that's your pleasure. You also have a volume rocker here. You can turn up the volume or just click it to mute. Makes it very, very simple. A few macros keys here that you can customize again in the Swarm app, which is free to download from the Turtle Beach website. Same as the Atlas Air and the Burst Air uh, mouse there. I mean, the feel of it, the travel is very, very nice. And with those macros keys, you can actually save up to five different profiles. So those macros keys will apply differently to depend on what games that you're playing. So you can have it set for City Skylines 2, for example, or Microsoft Flight Simulator, or better yet, something like Diablo or a first person shooter, having those macros easily accessible and customizable and all depending on what game that you're playing makes all the difference and finally if you're not a fan of these keycaps these keycaps actually are fully removable so you could I'm, I'm sure there's a tool to do that but i just did it like that but i'm just showing you how easy it is to remove and then you could put your own keycaps on and these switches are compatible with most third-party keycaps so you can make this look however you want can I put this back on without breaking it? Yes, I can. So like I said, if you're looking to upgrade some of your peripherals on your gaming PC, look no further and check out the brand new line from Turtle Beach. By the way, these were all sent to us for a full unbiased review. And this is not a sponsored post whatsoever, but I do wanna to say to them, thank you so much for trusting me with these brand new peripherals. I'm really do I really do. Mm. I'm really loving the keyboard. It really does feel nice. And I don't know, maybe I could get used to not having a 10 key. Who knows? Who knows? Times are changing. You never know. And with that being said, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave those in the comment section down below. Links as always can be found in the description below. Not only do we stream on this channel, but I also stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash lazy tech Tony. And I also have a TikTok channel for tips and tricks if you're a streamer. So until the next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Later. Hi.